Hello and welcome to another edition of Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Today, the great Miho Takagi, fine all-arounder, middle-distance skater from Japan, won the silver medal in 2018 in the 1500 in the Games, and also as a current world record holder, slid under 150, which is a, a strong, strong performance by a woman. 149.83 currently holds a world record and just a beautiful technician, a powerhouse, great track pattern, great timing. And I want to show you a few things about her skating today that makes her great. One is her straightaway. But first I'm going to show you her exit. Remember how I've told you transitions can make or break a skater at a, at a, at a high performance level. You want to act as if the corner is an ending. Exiting from the corner to the straightaway should be simple and clean. You don't want to necessarily anticipate the exit. And what I mean by that is technically you don't. Mentally you do. But technically you want to basically act as if the corner is never going to end and then you're in the straightaway and then you waste nothing. So when you're at the apex, top of the turn, you're forcing that pressure in, not releasing. When you're at three quarter, you're not releasing. What I mean is you don't, don't let yourself drift on purpose. A lot of people let themselves drift on purpose and then they have to come back in and the, and the pattern is wrong. You want your pattern to be clean and driven by the centripetal and centrifugal force you create underneath you. So at the top, you're forcing it at three quarters, pretend it's a, a second apex. And then at exit, it's like a third apex. You're just forcing it. You're not releasing. Never release that energy. Never release it. And then just transfer it to the straightaway. And Miho has a very clean transition here. Really nice exit. Not staying too long with that left. She's already poised to go this way. And it's just right into the straightaway really nicely. And notice how I've told you also that anatomies can drive technique in a way. We need to work with the reality of if you're a big, big, tall, lanky guy or a short woman. She's 5'4", 125 pounds of pure power. And she needs every, every inch of power she gets because she's... She's pretty small, but she gets down every straightaway easily in eight strokes, does six strokes in training, and just knows how to use her blades. Um, but I've told you, you know, a lot of distance skaters get their chin way outside the knee, which is great because you can really come across the blade hard. She works around that by being so early moving with the lead. And I've told you, move with the lead skate. You do that, and you're out over that skate early, and you generate a lot of rest in your push and you can turn this over quickly. And she does that very well. So a single stroke sequence here, moving with it, engaged hip, good lines, letting that push go, moving with the lead, out over that lead right here, really on top of it, now pressurizing it. This is the setup. I've told you also, it's about the setup, not necessarily the push anymore. You're set up, everything in the right place, you got your body in the right place. All you have to do is pressurize the skate you're on and move against it as if it's not moving. Don't push to the side. Push down, drive against it, and move. And you move early. Move with that lead skate, and you'll be on top of this blade really early, just as she is. So it's really good push sequence and something we can learn from. Really clean lines, excellent line there. And her blade, she uses her blade so well. I want to show you right here this angle. Really good angle on the blade. And there's no, there's no broken line here. I've told you about that too. Broken lines. It means this, it means this goes like this. There's a little here. But again, that's because of anatomy. She's 5'4", 125, very strong, very powerful, pretty good sized legs, but narrow hips. So, you know, back to the point, this is a really good blade angle. This is a really good hip angle. And these lines are nice. And you want to come across that blade. The reason it's so important to get out over that blade early is because you want to come across that blade really fast. You want the blade to go from this, well, not that severe, but you're on the outer, and then when you come across that blade, you want to 
really come across it hard. And at release, your blade angle is about like that. So you really want to pressurize that skate, come across it fast, and get the hell out of there. And she does that really well. Big release. Huge strokes for such a small woman. And it's just a dance. She's, it's, she's just dancing out there. I want to show you something else. I want to show you her straight away from the side. Notice her turn. Really stepping forward. It's just a walk. I call it the, the walk. There's none of this nonsense of, hey, extend, push to the side. All the pressure is underneath her hips. It's all down. One skate at a time, as I said. Look at the pressure here. Really highly pressurized left. And then driving forward, as I've said. It's not put down here. You want to drive against it forward. Pretend that skate isn't moving. Drop this down. Good blade angle. Nice blade angle. If we're up and down, your hip would be out here, and you'd have nothing on the skate. Now she can engage that pressure right away, work against it, and then set the left down and be done. So very nice turns. I want to show you her straight away from behind. Let's watch it in fast motion. I mean from the side. You can see how I've talked about the recovery skate. being like a pendulum, building into the skate you're on. And Miho does this exceptionally well. It becomes like a pulley system. Imagine a pulley, one thing works with the other in unison, in synchronization with it. And she does this really well. Look where that skate is right here. She's out over this skate, really pressurizing it now. And watch what happens when she recovers, just drops into that push so nicely. And it's, so, it's a dance. She's just dancing out there. Really good angles here good pressure on the ice. You can see from here how good that angle is. She's well on that outer there. But again, like I've said, she turns it over so fast. It's just a dance. So it's really, really well done. And uh, let's see it in slow motion and then to see how she's using her body weight and timing. She's not pushing, she's moving with that lead, getting out over the skate, coming back down into the push, out over the skate, coming back down into the push. Now as a sprinter you don't want to do this because you don't have time, but as an all-around or a distance skater in a 3000, coming up out of the push a little and then coming back in, if you have the timing right, if you can figure out, is really good. So that's why I wanted to show you about Miho. We're going to do another video on her in the future on a couple other aspects of her skating that are extraordinary. But um, again, hope you enjoyed and learned from this. Uh, you can email me at jeffreykleiber at gmail.com. If you have questions or concerns or comments, please do that or comment um, on the comment button. Please subscribe. Also, hit the share button and share these videos with someone you know who might benefit from it. I just want every skater to get a little better, you know, if they watch this. And also, if you've got concerns, questions, or comments, please, I want to hear them from you. So feel free to do that or email me, and I will see you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Take care.